Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the WordFence plugin to block IP addresses that are trying to hack your website. Now, the WordFence plugin is a security plugin and it monitors a lot of activity on your website and ties it all back to IP addresses. So you can figure out who's trying to do bad things to your website, but it also tracks a lot of people who are not doing bad things. So if we go to the WordFence activity in real time, page, you can see what I'm talking about. So to get there, you have to hover over or click on the WordFence plugin menu option and then click on the live traffic link. And you'll be taken to a, a page that looks similar to this. And WordFence breaks down the traffic on your site into categories. So there's the all hits, so that's everybody. There's humans, registered users, crawlers, Google crawlers, pages not found, logins and logouts, top consumers, and top 404s. WordFence monitors all the activity, ties it back to IP addresses, and then plunks it into each one of these categories. And one of these categories in particular is very, very useful for finding people who, or finding IP addresses, sorry, who are trying to hack your website. And that is the pages not found category. So if we click on that, it will give us a list of 404 errors that have been generated. And if you go through them, you can actually see IP addresses and where they're from that are trying to hack your account or hack your website. For example, the second one from Russia is looking for a non-existent page, which is a plugin called WP Shop and a specific ajax.php file within that plugin. Now to me, because I see a lot of these activities in our hack recovery service, this looks very suspicious. But I don't know for sure whether that's a vulnerability. So what you can do is go to a website called WP Scan Vulnerability Database, and it is at wpvulndb.com. And in the search bar in the top right, we type in WP Shop and then click on search. And there are two vulnerabilities, well it looks like one vulnerability that's showing up twice in the database. So if we click on that vulnerability, we can see what it is. And it details it here. The script includes forward slash ajax.php. Sound familiar? Allows execution of various actions by anonymous users. So includes forward slash ajax.php that is the exact file that this IP address from Russia was looking for. So they were scanning this website to try to identify whether we had that plugin with that vulnerability so that they could hack into the website. So what, we, what do we do at this point? Well, the best thing to do is we know that this IP address is trying to do bad things. So we click on block. You can block that IP or if you find that the IP network is doing bad things over and over, so a, a whole range of IPs, you can actually click on the block this network link as well. But for now, I'm just gonna click on block that IP, and now that IP is blocked, you have the option to unblock it in case you, you made an error in blocking it. So if we go further down, the same guy, same IP address is looking for simple ads manager as the plugin and then sam-ajax-admin.php as the file. So let's see if simple ads manager has a vulnerability. And it does. Looks like it's the same ID number. It's just listed many, many times. And if we go into it, let's see if we can find out a description, see which file they're trying to target. So it doesn't have much of a description. It's not telling us which file exactly that that is the problem with this plugin, but chances are because this exact same IP address was looking for uh, a different vulnerable file, chances are this one's vulnerable as well. And here it is, same IP address looking for another file and another plugin. Same IP address. Here's a different one looking for an image file, no big deal. Another one looking for an image file, no big deal. Mountain View, that's probably Google crawlers. 
probably no big deal here. It's, it even says Google Bot, so that's not an issue. And I just like to scroll through these once in a while, see if I can find people who are trying to scan for vulnerable files and trying to hack into a website. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit further, see if I can find some more examples. So this one's weird. This one from Germany is trying to look up a CSS file in a plugin called WP Store Cart. Generally, CSS files are not a problem because there's, there's really no executable PHP in CSS files. But I'm going to look that up anyway in this vulnerability database. So WP Store Cart is the plugin name. No results. So chances are they were trying to run I don't know what they're trying to run. I don't have that plugin installed. So I'm not sure what they were doing, but it doesn't look like it's harmful. Just going to go scroll through a little bit further, see if I can find another example of someone doing something bad. No, it looks like there's nobody else besides this Russian guy at the top who's doing bad things recently. Now that Russian guy, or that Russian IP is blocked. And when we go under the word fence options, if we go to blocked IPs, which is the fourth option down, we see a list of all the IPs that are blocked. And that IP address that we just blocked is part of it. And we click block in the results for the 404 pages but that is only a temporary block. So it will be unblocked within a certain number of hours. In fact, it will be unblocked in one minute in this case. I'm going to click on this link, Make Permanent, to block them permanently. And now that block is permanent until we click Unblock. There's no automated release of that block. And I'm going to show you in another site IPs that are blocked from logins. So on this Blocked IPs page, we have three buckets, IPs that are blocked from accessing the site, IPs that are locked out from login, IPs who are recently throttled for accessing the site too frequently. So I often check in these two buckets, IPs that are locked out from login and the throttling bucket, just to see who's doing bad things. Again, this is a different type of bad thing. The first one that we saw where they're scanning for the scripts, they're looking for a vulnerability in a file on the site that they can take advantage of. The people who are being blocked from login, they're probably trying to brute force your site. So on this example, we have a whole lot more people being blocked on this website. But if we click on the IPs that are locked out from login, we're going to see a whole list of IPs that are being blocked. And what we very often see is they try the username of the website. So whatever the website is, .com. I have this all blurred out because this is an actual client and we're currently securing their site. But the brute forcers, they try the admin username, but something nobody ever talks about is they try your website domain name as the username. And whenever I see that, and when you see it over and over in this list, whenever I see that, that's an automatic block. And we have this website set right now, so they're blocked or they're locked out for 24 hours. So it gives us a lot of time to come in and lock all these people out. What we have to do though is copy the IP, paste it into this manual block IP box up here and then click the manual block IP button. So I go through anytime I see the username of the domain name or the admin username, it's an immediate block. I just I don't even ask questions or it's immediately blocked. And then if we go to the throttled category, we see all the IPs that have accessed the site very, very frequently. So, so this from Ashburn, United States, this IP has been throttled 36 times, but that was nine days ago. And that same location, very different IP, but the same location was throttled 22 times, also nine days ago. So these ones I have to look into a little more because these can be search engine crawlers that are coming to your site and they, they rapidly check a lot of pages. And when pages are checked rapidly, 
the plugin slows down their queries. It throttles them, as it were. So I have to do a little more research on each of these to see if they're actually legitimate crawlers or if they're possibly potential hackers, and then decide on a block later on. So that is how I use the WordFence plugin to, on a daily or weekly basis, check for IPs that are trying to do bad things on our website. Either check for vulnerable files that they can hack into, or check for people who are trying to brute force the website, or who are accessing the site too frequently, and then we block all of the IPs that are doing that. Unfortunately, WordFence doesn't do that automatically, because sometimes those are legitimate queries, and so they don't want to block any IPs that could be doing legitimate things. So there is a bit of due diligence that we have to do as webmasters to decide which ones to block and which ones not to. But that said, we have an automatic block, and you should do this as well, that automatically blocks anyone trying the username that is the domain name of the website or the admin username. We immediately block them, no questions asked. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you, subscribe to our channel, check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. I'll talk to you soon.